Hello? Is this thing on? Hey y'all! Welcome to the Knit Witch Podcast. Thanks for tuning in. This is the first podcast I've ever tried recording, so we'll see how this goes. I'm kind of like super nervous about this because I've never tried to do something like this before. And also, I don't know if my setup really works, so we'll see. Just swinging it. Um, so, I am Gabby. I'm a knitter, farmer, and crafter from the eastern U.S. And I just wanted to make a podcast because I'm kind of obsessed with knitting and I don't really have any fiber friends nearby, so I just figured, like, hey internet, what's up? <laughs> um, so I just, I don't know. This is going to be where I talk about all of my yarny goodness I've got going on and just different projects that I have in mind. Because this is the first episode, I kind of want to just give, like, a tiny bit of background about me. Just a little bit. Uh, so, let's see. I'm 25. My favorite color is orange. I love animals. Um, and I just finished this season working at Polyface Farm in Virginia. I'm super into regenerative agriculture. That's kind of my thing, so... So I'm working toward having my own homestead and in the meantime just doing tons of fiber things so I'm gonna just head right into talking about my whips I actually don't really have anything on the needles at the moment my main project right now is the computer work for a cowl that I'm designing so I don't have anything to show that's like an actual work in progress that's a physical knit thing but the pattern's coming soon. Ish. I hope. Yeah. So, uh, actually, that leads me into talking about FOs, because uh, the only thing that I've finished super recently is the cowl that I was just talking about. So I'm writing up a design for this pattern. Here, I'll bring it closer so you can see it a little bit better. Yeah. Sweet. Um, I don't know, I'll put it on too. I just took some photos for the design page and PDF and all that biz. So, yeah. Koji. Wow. Nice. I've got a couple names in mind, but I haven't like decided on anything yet. So, just working on that. Um, sorry, I'm going to cheat and look at my notes because I can't remember anything. Oh, the important thing to tell you about this. Um, it'll have its own pattern page on Ravelry. I'm on Ravelry as Sensitive Plant Girl with no I in girl, so G-R-L. I'll put everything in the show notes, so just ignore me, whatever. Um, but this is knit out of um, from Plymouth Yarn Company, their Encore Chunky, and I think the color is Wine Heather. I got this as a gift, I believe. It was either like a thrifted set of yarn or I got it as a gift from like someone else's scraps so I didn't buy this but it's really nice really squishy I think it's like 75 acrylic 25 wool or something like that it's pretty nice though some other things that I finished in the last several months um, I haven't had time to knit because of farming so I've just done a couple projects over the summer um, and then that cowl I just finished in October um, but I made this it's uh, my secret little crop top. The pattern is by Jesse May Designs, and um, it's actually it's called My Secret Little Crop. And I've got this one that I did. This one is okay. Let's see. Made out of three pl three ply DK cotton from Sistari. It's a Virginian yarn company. I, I bought this at Polyface because um, it's a local uh, yarn company, so support local, you know? Um, but yeah, it's it's DK. The other one that I made, which I still haven't fully unpacked because I just got back home, um, so th the other one looks really different. Maybe I'll try to find it to show it to you guys next time, uh, or you can check my uh, Ravelry page for it, because uh, that one is sport weight, and it, it's completely different. Like. This one, I edited the pattern some and hacked it a bit to make the, um, what do you call it? Make the I hacked the pattern to make the neckline taller on this version, and it's DK, so it's heavier than the sport weight that I did. The sport weight is I did out of um, 
yarn from Nutmeg Fibers in the Meadow Junior base. That's 75 cotton, 25 linen, um, in the color Mist. So it's like a pinky, cute. Uh, like really light summery tank top. It's like super, super loose, especially compared to this one. Um, wh whereas this one is a lot more fitted and I don't know. I like it a lot. I kind of like this one better. <laughs> but this was the second one I made, so no wonder I like it better. I don't know. And the other thing that I did kind of recently, within like the last month and a half, I don't know, actually. I think, no, in September, I finished um, a beanie, the Barley by Tin Can Knits. Um, it was just a quick stress relief knit with some junk yarn that I got at the thrift store. It wasn't really that important to me. I just needed something on the needles because I had a long summer and was having a long week, so I just needed to knit something. Um, so I just want to point out that I'm a relatively fast knitter. It took me two days to finish my first My Little Crop, and then it took me two days to finish the barley hat be just because I didn't have time to be knitting because uh, at that point I was farming full time so I didn't have time for extra stuff but like my first My Secret Little Crop took me two days that's when I wasn't farming this one I did while farming at Polyface and it took me two months to finish because I just didn't have the time or energy um, and yeah that's crazy but I really like how it turned out so it was worth the wait Okay, moving on. So far, i finished 10 projects in 2020. That's compared to the 24 that I finished in all of 2019, so if I keep at it, I can probably pass that record this year. I'm kind of excited. I want to. Um, but the other things that I did... Sorry, I'm looking to see if I have one nearby. I did two Hat Danas, um, that pattern by Denise Byron. Byron? I don't know how to say her name. I'm sorry. I'm going to butcher everyone's names right now. But I did two hat danas, one in an Aran weight, um, for, and it's like orangey winter. Um, and then one in the fingering weight. I think the fingering one, one second. Okay, yeah, so uh, this is the fingering weight hat dana that I made right here. So this is the fingering weight version of the Hat Dana by Denise Bayron, Byron, whatever her name is. Sorry, Denise, you're cool, but I don't know how to say your name. Um, my glasses kind of get in the way when I try to put it on, so. But, I don't know, pretty cozy, functional, and it looks cute when you wear it as like a normal bandana. I also made the Spindrift shawl by Helen Stewart and I can't find it because I made it in like March before I left my house so it's kind of gone forever until I finish unpacking and cleaning more. I have no idea where it is but I made a nice like maroon-ish one and I added baubles because it was kind of plain because I used a solid color but I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I made a pair of self-striping 2x2 two two ribbed socks using some Knit Picks Felici yarn, because I always use that, or Felici, I don't know how you say that either. And then I also made a pair of Hermione's Everyday Socks um, in like this light green color um, with some other Knit Picks wool. But yeah, so those have been my main projects all year, and I can't wait to do some other stuff. So let's see. Um, I've talked about whips, FOs. Now I'll talk about acquisitions. So. I have a list. Hold on. Um, so first I have this yarn that I got. As a gift. Sorry, something on the other side of the room just fell over and it startled me. Uh, so I got this yarn as a gift from a friend named Wendy. Wendy Gray, you're the best, I love you. I hope you watch this maybe or don't, it's fine. But she's awesome and I got it as a birthday gift. Um, I'm not sure exactly uh, what it is or where she got it from. She got it from a friend or a favorite yarn supplier or something, I don't know, from like Highland County or something like that. I have no idea. I didn't get much detail on this and I think it's alpaca. I don't know. I just, I just accept gifts and love them. 
that is out. Um, so I got that. And then, uh, where's my list? This isn't yarn, but I got just a weaving needle because I needed one. I got two of these anti-pilling yarn bobbin things from Michaels the other day because they were on sale. Um, both of them, it says that each is three skeins per bobbin, so I don't know, I was thinking of making like a big shawl or something out of these. I didn't know yet, I just thought the colors were pretty neat. Also, sorry if I, uh, blurb. super zoomed in. Sorry if I'm looking kind of off to the side. I'm not used to filming, so I keep looking at the like video screen on the camera instead of the actual lens. Awkward, but I'm a noob. What do you expect? <laughs> Sorry. Um. Okay, so my last acquisition is super exciting because I haven't opened it yet. I got ordered um, a couple skeins from The Little Wolf Knits on Etsy. Um, her name's Brianna, I believe. She's based in Pennsylvania. And I'm super excited for this yarn because it's Harry Potter themed and you know I love Harry Potter. You don't know. You have, you just met me for the first time today. You don't know anything about me. I love Harry Potter. Hufflepuff in the house. That's right. Harry Potter's the best thing ever. Um, if you're not a Hufflepuff, leave. Just kidding. Don't leave. I love you anyway. But like, be yellow, come on. Um, yeah, so I haven't opened the package yet and I'm super stoked. So let's open it. Oh, this is so exciting. I like, I super hope that this records properly. This is the original unboxing reaction and I've been super excited for this yarn. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be so good. Okay. Ah, look at these colors. They look so. Oh my gosh, they're so awesome. Okay, so I got these three, which I'll actually. I'm gonna take them out. Do anything else in this bag? New. No. Okay. I'm gonna take them out. Ah. Oh man, this is, so this is so good. Okay, this one is Parcel Tongue. Oh, that's a beautiful green. I'm so excited for this. Okay, they're all in the catamaran. Catamaran. I don't know how to say that. I have no idea what that means. That's but that's the name of her base, the Catamaran base. Um, fingering weight four ply. So this green one is parcel tongue. This one is butter beer, which sorry, hold on. Let's get you to see some of those speckles. There we go. Has like brown and orangey speckles every once in a while, and this. Last but not least is Sirius Black. It's just like a tonal black. But I'm so, oh, these are so nice. Here's them together again. Okay, and here her card. I don't know if this is going to flip properly. Maybe I'll have to figure out if I can like rotate, flip the screen so that you're not just trying to read that backwards because that would be awful. And then, oh! Some licorice spice uh, caffeine free herbal tea. That's really nice. Thanks Brianna, that's awesome. But yeah, this is the little freebie that was in there. Thank you so much, that's so sweet. Ah, oh, yes, I'm so excited about these colors. They're so great. Okay, um, 
me just put this off to the side for a second. I will put that away in a nice, safe place later. <laughs> I'm totally cheating this whole time by staring at my show notes. So every time I look away, that's what I'm doing. Sorry, I have a terrible memory and I have a lot to talk about, so yeah. Um, so, dreams is the next section. Uh, this is a part where you're gonna have to go open a new tab and look at Ravelry because I don't print things. Because for one, I don't want to waste paper, but for two, I just didn't, I don't know, I forgot <laughs> to print out like a picture of any of this. Um, so, kind of dream knitting se segment. Um, I want to do the Cozy Marley by Cozy Up Knits. That's actually what I got that three skein fingering set for because you like, there's a section. I think there's two like base color sections and then one section where you marl two colors. Um, I actually don't know. I need to look at the pattern again. I have no idea what I'm talking about, but I got that set. It, well, it's not a set. I ordered those three and made my own set specifically for the Cozy Marley shawl uh, by Cozy Up Knits. And then um, I also want to, I want to knit the Summer Court Tank by Dragon Horde Yarns. That looks gorgeous. I like the like lacy bits at the bottom. They're super cute. Um, but lace terrifies me, so I don't know if that's gonna happen. We'll see. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. My queue is like super ridiculous, so there's so much I want to do and I need to clean it out, but like I never look at it often enough. <laughs> like I just find new patterns and ignore the queue completely in Ravelry, so maybe I should stop using it. I don't know. Um, but I did just add something new. I just saw the uh, the Underwing Mitts by Erica Huser. I don't I don't know how you pronounce her name, but I'll have it on the screen or link below or something. Um, they're super gorgeous colorwork mitts, but they... that looks intense. I'm scared, so I don't know if I'll ever do them, but like, that's a total forever dream knitting, because those are so beautiful. And I kind of need them in my life, so if you want to knit me a pair, hit me up. <laughs> um, okay. Almost at the end, I promise I'll stop rambling, but I want to have a new to me section. Um, so this is where I'm going to talk about like, I don't know, designs, dyers, patterns that I didn't know about, techniques that I think are cool that I just have just encountered myself. Um, so there's two, there's two Etsy shops that I think you guys should check out. One is Knitting Nikabi on Etsy. It's like, um, Okay, quote, naturally dyed non-superwash yarns. So get a bunch of awesome yarn from Knitting Nakabi. Um, and I actually heard about her stuff because um, Shai from Witchy Knits uh, is doing like a test knit for her or something. Um, I saw it on Instagram, so it's like, whoa, those colors are phenomenal. And I had to go look, of course. And the other one I think you should check out is Molly Klein Design on Etsy. Um, she has yarn and project, yarn and project bags. Um, she has so many good spooky yarn colors, so check that out because it looks awesome. <laughs> and okay, um, wow, I think I actually am almost done. I've made it to like. I feel like I've been talking so fast. I guess I just wanted to get this over with because I'm so like embarrassed about doing this. Even though I've wanted to, I've wanted to do a knitting podcast for a really long time, but I just never got my space set up and I didn't know how to do anything. But it's been it's about time. Um, sidebar over. Um, there's a couple more things. I didn't take my drop spindles with me to Polyface, so I have not touched spinning since like March or April. I'm kind of scared to even look at my project bag that has my spinning in it because I don't even remember how to do it probably and I was really bad at it to begin with, so we'll see how that goes. Drop spin spindle. Drop spinning? Drop spindling? Using a drop spindle to spin yarn. I suck, but I'm going to get good, I promise. Um, the other thing is I learned how to single crochet earlier this week, which is awesome because I knew how to do like a chain since I was a kid, but kid me did not understand how to do the next steps. I was just like, what is this stick? What do you, what, 
this isn't a knitting needle, I don't understand. Um, but single crochet. I actually, I'll actually show you. Here we go. So, single crochet. Woo! I did like a tiny swatch just as practice. But I still, I don't know which side's the right side and which side's the wrong side. So, uh, all crochet is reversible to me now. I have no idea. <laughs> um, yeah. And the last thing is I was learning how to cross stitch because I've really wanted to do that in embroidery for a long time. But like, it confuses me. Uh, I don't know. Um, but I got like a tiny little kit and I was doing fine. But then the needle broke. Like the one that came with the kit just the eye of the needle snapped in half so now I can't use it and I need to get a new one. So that's on halt but I started and that's what matters so that's it's fine it's whatever maybe I should quit while I'm ahead but I kinda really wanna learn so I'm just gonna get a new needle and keep trying um yeah I think that just about wraps everything up uh, thanks again so much for tuning in to the first episode of The Knit Witch. Uh, I don't know. I'm just super excited and I hope you guys like it and hope you stick around to watch some more episodes. I'm not quite sure how often I'm going to upload, but I think it's going to be once a month. Um, that way I'll have something interesting to show all the time, but maybe more often if I do a lot more knitting or acquire a lot more goodies. Yeah, so this is the obligatory, wow, social media, add me section. Um, everything will be linked in the show notes, and I'm going to also post the show notes on my blog, um, which is linked on my uh, YouTube channel profile and also in the show notes. Um, so, blog. Sensitiveplantgirl.home.blog is where you'll find me with random farm things, knitting patterns, homesteady goodness. Uh, yeah, general stuff and the show notes for this podcast. Um, Instagram, sensitive plant girl, just like how it sounds, spell it out. Uh, and then Ravelry, it's sensitive plant GRL. So instead of spelling girl correctly, you take out the I uh, for Ravelry only because I think the username was too long or something. I actually don't remember why it's like that. But that's how it's got to be on Ravelry. Everything will be linked below so you're not confused. But thanks so much for tuning in. Hope to see you next time. Bye, guys. Okay, take two. Hello and welcome back for test number two to see if this, whatever that's called, daylight will help out with the lighting here so you can see what I'm showing you better. And hope you see, hope, uh, wow word vomit tongue twister can't english how words ah bad gosh oh yeah the focus is great